in force, but at the same time, land is not Everybody knows what you hear right. No matter where it comes, how it comes, they are all vulnerable. They are not vulnerable. But what will it say? We are not able to write that. Clear to us. Your voice is not clear to us. Not visible. Am I audible, sir? Sir, am I audible, sir? Uh, now it appears uh, we don't sir. have much time uh, and therefore uh, please conclude. And sir, so I now to conclude this uh, book is all about the emerging trends by the ideas and the thinking about the mission about land which I discussed. No longer land reform is an issue. Property rights will be told. All about guaranteeing property rights. Thank you. Okay, allow allow uh, two or three questions. Are there any questions? Are there any questions here? All right. So, so we conclude this session. We conclude this session. Thank you very much. And uh, we wish all success to your book, uh, academically and commercially. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Good evening, uh, friends. Uh, now we are going to have uh, we are going to have a short uh, poetry uh, evening and uh, today we have a very special guest poet uh, dr diti ronan who is joining us from tel aviv um, i would like to say a few words about uh, diti Diti is not only a very great friend for last 12 years, uh, she, uh, she is like a twin flame for me. Uh, a spiritual companion, a great poet, Diti is, uh, has published 10 full-length books of poems. Uh, five of the books are in Hebrew and Five books are in other languages like German, Spanish, French, uh, Romanian, and Georgian. Uh, her poetry has been awarded national and international awards and many honors. She has received uh, poetry residencies and scholarships. Besides her uh, poetic work, uh, Diti Ronan is a scholar, a researcher, uh, a lecturer and advisor of arts. Uh, she, she has been a, lec uh, a lecturer in the Hebrew University of Jerusalem and uh, was uh, former head of cultural policy, literature, theater departments in the Israeli Ministry of Culture. Uh, so I invite Dr. Ronan uh, to kindly uh, give us the joy of listening to her poetry. And I would also request her to give us the um, sound of her own language, the Hebrew, as well. Uh, we welcome Dr. Diti Ronan. Dr. Ronan, 
could you please unmute yourself and uh, come on the video as well She's there. Diti, please, yes, now you are unmuted. Ah, uh, there is a red, uh, red yes. mic. Yeah. And I don't see. Wow. Yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait now. Can you hear me now? Yes. Um, Good. I'm <laughs> sorry, I apologize. Um, I couldn't find the right buttons. It happens. <laughs> Uh, Diti, please, uh, please read your poems to us and adjust your screen, so uh, the computer screen, so that we can see you properly. I think I, uh, well, in the, I can see myself as if it's okay. Uh, tell me what's the problem and I'll fix it. There's a way. Uh, put the camera a little bit uh, away from you, a little bit away from you. What? Uh, yes. yeah, we can see your head. Yeah, that's nice, Titi. Thanks. Is that okay? Okay. Yes. Shall I move it a bit uh, like that? Absolutely. Please. Fine. Hi. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, the Institute for Advanced Studies in Shimla. I'm happy to be here, and most of all, I'm happy to see you, Alka. I miss you so much, and it's like a great honor for me that you thought about me. Um, I constantly think about you as my translator, my Hindi translator, and that always very moves. Uh, it it moves me very much. So thank you for inviting me and uh, I'm happy to be here this afternoon with you. Um, the language that I write is, uh, I write in Hebrew. It is my, uh, my mother tongue and it's a language of uh, very few people. I think uh, the Jew, we are Jewish. It's like a religion that gave the world the Bible. It's a very, um, like now we are maybe in this amount of two cities in India. So we are maybe uh, 14 million 
or maybe 13, 14 million. Yeah. In Israel, uh, we have 9 million people. The rest of us uh, are spread around the world. And uh, we were uh, moved from our land for 2,000 years. So the history is very, um, uh, is very uh, like in a movement of going in and out. And uh, during Second World War, uh, like half of the Jewish uh, people, half of the Jews were exterminated by the Nazis. And um, like now we are back to the number that we were before Second World War. So now we are doubled. Like 6 million people were killed then. We were 12 million people. 12 million people, Jewish people in the world. And today we have uh, doubled it. Um, unfortunately, my mother was among those people who uh, suffered from the Nazis. The, she was sent to a concentration camp in Auschwitz and from there to another concentration camp uh, in order that they wished to exterminate her. Fortunately, she survived, not her father, her, her mother, all the family was uh, killed, but uh, she was the, and she was the only one to survive. And uh, uh, she came to Israel. Israel gained uh, its uh, independence, like India, in uh, 48, 1948. So we are a young, uh, a young state, a young uh, country, like it's, um, old and young, like you. And um, and I was born already here in Israel, in Tel Aviv. Uh, the language, the Hebrew language is a, a very old language because the Bible was written basically in Hebrew and it was even before. So it's a language of uh, 6,000, one of the old, maybe the oldest language still, no, it is the oldest language still in use. Because we write, we speak uh, the same language like the Bible. It's this, like, it's, uh, it's considered to be the oldest language still in use. Um, I thought, I thought maybe in order to give the audience uh, an, a bit of knowledge about the poem, um, I would, I would really ask you, Alka, to read it in uh, Hindi first, and then I will read it in Hebrew. I don't, I won't read all of it because it will take a long time. I will just read part of it. But I think the people should first know what the poem is about. Um, Diti, yes, uh, thank you very much. Uh, I also read only the excerpts because we are running so late and I apologize that the program began late for you and I know that you have Hanukkah and your family gathering is happening in the evening. So apology okay. for the delay, but uh, sure, I will read the poem, uh, excerpts from the poem just to give a feeling to the audience that, you know, the poem is... Um, I hope my colleagues are there, uh, uh, some joining online and some are here. Um, I would like to share that this poem, as Diti said, you know, her mother survived the concentration camps. And this poem is based on memory, uh, how the memories remain. And the poem is a formal, uh, formally also, the poem is very innovative because it is imagining a, um, a painting, like a painter and a painting. So the narrator is calling out to a painter that please paint this memory. So it is like involving two genres, like not only the uh, poetic genre, but also the painting. And it's very beautiful how the poet is able to capture uh, the, the 
a whole imagery as if it is happening in her uh, all her senses the visual and the taste and uh, of course the sound because of the poem so i'll read certain excerpts to uh, give you an idea and i'm expecting that after this my uh, colleagues uh, other colleagues after the tip will also be able to uh, join us uh, in this poetry gathering so the uh, diti the you are now ready to hear the poem in hindi this uh, the title of this poem is the little bird by diti ronen i translated it long ago in hindi as nanhi chidiya nanhi chidiya shuru karo upar se dheeme se shuru karo anant se aakash se shuru karo chidiya se shuru karo dekho udne lagi hai wo ek chidiya छोटी सी देखो उड़ रही है फैला खुला हुआ आकाश है उसके सामने क्षितिज से शुरू करो क्या अब भी इसमें धुएं की लकीरें दिखाई देती हैं नहीं अभी सांझ नहीं हुई है तुम कुछ नहीं देख सकते क्षितिज दूर है और समंदर करीब और सूरज खड़ा है मध्य आकाश में पेड़ों के सिरे उठ रहे हैं दिख रहे हैं पेड़ों से शुरू करो झोपड़ी से शुरू करो फर्क नहीं पड़ता कौन सी वो एक जैसी है दसवीं झोपड़ी से शुरू करो देखो अब एक खूबसूरत औरत निकल रही है वहां से क्या तुमने उसे चित्रित किया उसका चित्र सुंदर बनाओ प्लीज खूबसूरत घने बालों वाली स्वाभिमानी देखा तुमने उसका गोल चेहरा जो दुबला हो गया है देखा तुमने उसकी नशीली आंखों को वो ऊपर देखती है वो देखती है चिड़िया को उसके सामने से गुजरती हुई उड़ती हुई पंखों को फैलाए ऑफिसर से शुरू करो उसे लंबा बनाना उसके चेहरे को खास बनाना प्लीज वो चौकोर है उसका जबड़ा सख्त है ठुड्डी कुछ निकली हुई है उसके बाल सलीके से सजे हुए और उसकी टोपी उसे लंबा बनाना और बहुत सीधा वो देखता है सुराख के बीच से ढूंढ रहा है किसको मारेगा वो उसे निशाना लगाते हुए चित्रित करो वो हिलता है औरत की ओर और मुड़ता है देखो अपना निशाना भूल गया उसकी मांसपेशियां हल्की हो गई बंदूक को उतरते हुए चित्रित करो उसकी बाहा से फिसलती हुई बंदूक को निशाना साधने की स्थिति को मिटते हुए दिखाओ वो देखता है औरत की ओर और, जो नहीं देखती उसकी ओर उसकी नजर चिड़िया पर है और चिड़िया ओह एकदम वही और मार दिया क्या तुमने चित्रित किया क्या तुम चित्रित कर पाए उसे डूबते हुए वहां यहां इतने पास बिल्कुल उसके पास जैसे ईश्वर उतर आए हो जैसे ईश्वर उतर आए हो नम्रता से अनसुने औरत से शुरू करो वो चिंतित निगाह फेंकती है गोली की वो आवाज क्या थी उसे चिंता होती है मित्रों की जल्दी से झोपड़ी में घुसती है अंदर जाने के लिए फिर बाहर आने के लिए औरत से शुरू करो नहीं फिर से ऑफिसर से शुरू करो उसकी निगाह औरत पर लौटती है औरत डरी सहमी चिंतित चारों ओर देखती उसकी चाल दौड़ जैसी है 
चिड़िया को धरती से उठाते हुए जो तड़प रही है शरीर गरम है अभी उसके वजन को महसूस करते हुए कितनी नन्ही है वो और कितनी खूबसूरत वो चिड़िया को औरत को दे देता है जैसे और वो उसे ले लेती है जैसे सब कुछ पूर्व नियोजित हो जैसे यह होना ही था जैसे चिड़िया उसी के लिए बनी थी अपने हाथ में बिना जरा भी कंपन के वो ले लेती है चिड़िया को एक नजर भी देखे बिना भूख का चित्रण करो रहस्य का चित्रण करो सहमति का चित्रण करो आशा का चित्रण करो भूख से शुरू करो मौन से शुरू करो बहुत सारे मौन नहीं मत शुरू करो बस मौन रहो और मत करो शुरू और कभी कुछ ना कहना भूल जाओ जो तुमने कहा अब तक मिटा दो जो लिखा है अब तक और चुप रहो मिटा दो और भुला दो भुला दो और मिटा दो और मौन रहो और झोपड़ी को रहने दो ऑफिसर को रहने दो औरत को रहने दो भूख को रहने दो निगाह को रहने दो आवाज को छोड़ो मत सोचो चूल्हा पतीला मत छीनो गीत कहानी निकाल फेंक चिड़िया ईश्वर पी जाओ शब्द भुला दो मिटा दो और, और अगर बोलना भी पड़े कुड यू प्लीज और अगर बोलना और अगर बोलना भी पड़े तो कम से कम बिना आवाज के बोलो अपने मन में फुसफुसाकर शुरू करो इच्छा से कामना से शुरू करो चिड़िया से थैंक यू वेरी मच दीदी थैंक यू फॉर द रीडिंग आई एम थ्रू इट प्लीज रीड इट नाउ दीदी इन हिब्रू एंड इन इंग्लिश ओके इन हिब्रू इमीडिएटली um i will begin from the part when uh, the um, when the uh, block alteste the woman who keeps the block uh, is hiding a secret with uh, the woman who takes the bird from the hands of my mother tsayri et amabat tsayri et araav tsayri et asod צירי את ההסכם, צירי את הכתקווה, את הרעב. תתחילי ברעב. לא. תתחילי בציפור. לא. תתחילי באישה, בקצין, ברובה, בצריף, בתנור, בסיר, בציפור, ב... תתחילי כבר, נו, תתחילי. תתחילי בזיכרון. תתחילי ב... בשקט, בשתיקה, תתחילי בשתיקה, תתחילי בשתיקה, בשתיקות, לא, אל תתחילי, פשוט תשתקי ואל תתחילי, ולעולם אל תאמרי דבר, אל תכתבי ואל תציירי דבר, מחקי כל מה שכתבת ושתקי, שכחי כל מה שאמרת, ושתקי מחקי ושכחי, שכחי ומחקי ושתקי. והניחי לצריף, הניחי לקצין, הניחי לאישה, הניחי לרעה, הניחי למבט, הניחי לתקווה. עזבי את השתיקות, עזבי את הקולות, ואל תחשבי תנור או סיר. ואל תגעי בסיפור או בשיר, גרשי את הציפור, את אלוהים, בלעי את המילים, ושתקי.
and in english please some of your poems in english <laughs> Oh, it's the same poem I will read because okay. I, I didn't know if you want more poems or not. Um, so yes, maybe I'll take the part of this move. No, don't begin. Just be silent and don't begin. And never say a thing. Don't write and don't draw a thing. Forget all that you've said and be silent. Erase all that you have written and be silent. Erase and forget, forget and erase and be silent. And let go of the barrack, let go of the officer, let go of the woman, let go of the hunger, let go of the gaze, let go of hope. Leave the silences, leave the voices, and don't think oven or pot, and don't touch a story or a song. Expel the bird, God, swallow the words and be silent. Forget, erase, and don't speak. That's enough. <laughs> Thank you so much, Titi. Would you like to read uh, one more poem? Any other um, I, Well, yeah, I didn't know, but... <laughs> Let's see what... Uh, uh, do you want it in English or in Hebrew? Uh, what does the audience say? English. I, English. I think in English. English, okay. Okay, it's another video. Okay, you know what? I read a poem that speaks about this uh, um, this movement of going in and out and being uh, here and there. It's a short poem. Uh, it's called "At Home" or "Hide and Seek." One. Before I came here, my land belonged to others who worked it with love. Before they came here, their land belonged to others who worked it with love. Before my parents left their homeland, they lived in their own home that they built with love. Before you left, your homeland. You lived in your own home that you built with love. Let's deny history. Imagine we were not here before you and you were not here before us. Instead of playing catch, will play with words. I live in a home that was built for others. The people who lived in my home left to live in a home that was built for others. You live in a home that was built for others. The people who lived in your home left to live in a home that was built for others. Two. The only home that was built for me is settled now by people who speak my parents' language, my own mother tongue that I don't understand. On central city streets, of Paris, Madrid, or Rome, I walk and recognize the sign of my people and hush. Three, I take the sky and pull it over my head 
to have a home. But where do my feet go? That's wonderful, dear Diti. Thank you very much for being with us. Um, I would request if anyone has any question to Diti, they may ask. Would you like to? No, submit. Okay, Diti. So thank again, you very much. Uh, thank you for joining us. I would request my uh, uh, director, our director. Professor, uh, here is a compliment from a professor here. Uh, please. Thank you very much. Uh, in fact, uh, I just want to, I just want to compliment you for the wonderful uh, poems with wonderful themes and the wonderful sentiments. The Hindi much. translation of your of your poem by uh, Professor Al Katyagi was marvelous. Presentation was marvelous, and, uh, and in fact, every word of that poem touched the heart and mind of every one of us. Compliments to you, and compliments to Al Katyagi. Thank you very much. So everybody is so full of joy, you know, after listening to your poetry. I would uh, request our director, sir, Professor Makran Paranjipali, uh, because of him, it, all this was possible. Uh, so, uh, so if he's there, uh, I would request him. He's a he himself is a very renowned poet. Uh, besides oh, being a great international scholar. Uh, so I would request him if he would like to share a poem and say something uh, for the, on this at this moment. Uh, Professor Paranjapayji. Uh, if you're there, we would be we would be very grateful if if you're there uh, for a few few more. Mm -hmm. uh, dear sir, could Professor Paranjipe, could you hear me? Can you hear me, sir? Yeah. Alkaji, Alkaji, I can hear you. Ji, sir. Uh, so yeah. I was just just saying uh, that. One second, one second. There's some meeting going on here. What I'm going to ask is, please get others to read, or is it finishing now? Now we are requesting our director, sir, to share a poem with us, and then we will call uh, Pradeep Trikhaji, and that will there. Then we will end, sir. So oh, could you? Oh my! If anybody has read, whoever wanted to read has read already. Diti has just finished, and uh, we had a wonderful uh, reading from her in Hebrew. <laughs> no, I heard that because I am unmuted. Doesn't mean I can't hear you. <laughs> Gee, uh, what but what I am wondering is, were we not going to give everyone a chance to read a poem, or you don't want to do that? There's no time. Is that what you're saying? Give, we did give a chance, but uh, Rajbir sir spoke a little bit, uh, but. I, I'll open it again, but we would re listen to your poem as well, sir. So, so do you want me to read from here? Because I have three people sitting here in the office. Gee, so we uh, come downstairs and then come back up. No, but I can do it. It's up to you. Aye, please, aye, sir. Jab tak hum Pradeep ji ko bula lete hain. Aap jab tak aye. Haan, aap ko finish kijiye. Aap unko. Tum mein 10 minute mein aa raha hoon. 10 minute mein, thik hai, sir. 10 minute mein mein aata hoon. पांच मिनट के लिए और फिर मैं दोबारा ऊपर आता हूँ ठीक है सर जी सो दीति को हम गुड बाय कर देते हैं सर वेल आई मीन इफ शी कैन या इन दैट केस देन आई मस्ट रीड व्हेन शी इज देन दैट वुड बी बेटर तो वी होल्ड हर फाइन 
Great, if you have 10 minutes, otherwise I will come down and read for you and come back up. What would you prefer, DTG? Diti, you have 10 minutes. Okay, she has 10 minutes, so you take your time. We Perfect. call Pradeep Drikha ji. Happy. One of us is more relaxed and the other is scrambling around. <laughs> yes. If both are scrambling around, it will create chaos, you know? No, we are fine. Okay, I'll sir. just come downstairs in a few minutes, okay? Okay, sir. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Thank so you. now uh, we would request uh, Dr. Pradeep Drikhaji uh, to please uh, join us and say a few words uh, about this very important book that was released uh, during in the in the beginning of this event. And uh, uh, kindly, are you there, sir, Dr. Trikha? Yeah, I, sir, please yes, unmute. Sir, I'm much there. Ji, uh, unmute. Kar yeah, ke unmute video yeah, kar yeah. pe aaye, sir. We are waiting yes. for you. Video, video, okay. on. Sir, video. Yes, great. Yeah, can you see me? Actually, my, my camera is not properly working. I don't know why, but yeah, but I think it is, it is better if you can listen. Me. Uh, are you able to uh, hear my voice? Okay, Am sir. No. So, uh, I'm in a, uh, very upset. I'm really thankful to you. Are you able to listen to my voice? I'm not clear, nahi hai, sir. Yeah. Hmm. Up to you. Hmm. Sir, signal ki problem hai udhar. Aap ki taraf. Oh my God. Um, uh, clear, hai, sir. Aap boliye, boliye. Please, uh, please, yeah. please, 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 uh, Dr. Trikha, unfortunately, we are not yeah. able to hear you mm -hmm. clearly. So, uh, a suggestion is coming from our fellows uh, as well as uh, Professor Hara that perhaps we should listen to you again at some other occasion. So, um, we are really sorry that we could not hear you at this very important um, event of the release of your book. So, sir, you will listen to it again. Now, we are doing this program in our program. So, uh, really sorry with okay. those words. Yeah, with those words, sir. No. Um, I thank you for your patience. Thank you. Now, uh, we have uh, Venusa and we have Sumit and Professor M.P. Singh. Mm -hmm. Sir, a... Yes. yes. दर्द ऐसे हैं अधर पर जो सहज आते नहीं हैं गीत ऐसे हैं कि जिनको हम गा पाते नहीं हैं दर्द ऐसे हैं अधर पर जो सहज आते नहीं हैं गीत ऐसे हैं कि जिनको हम गा पाते नहीं हैं नीत ऐसे हैं कि जिनको हम बुला पाते नहीं हैं और दीप ऐसे हैं कि जिनको हम जला पाते नहीं Sir, 
लेकिन मुझे सबसे अच्छी उनकी जो पुस्तक है उसका नाम है आवाह उसे हलाहल पी कर लेगा जान स्वयं सीमा का विस्तार कि तू है संस्कृति से भय भी कि तुझसे भय खाता संसार कि इस महती जगती के बीच पड़ा तू जैसे कोई गैर कि तेरे अंतर में जो सिंध रहा जब उसमें तृण सत है एक दिन काल प्रबल के हाथ हिमालय के धरकंध विशाल एक झटके में नस नस तोड़ धरा पर धम से देंगे डाल रजत सा उसका स्वर्ण किरीट बनेगा रज के कण का कण का ग्रास लिखा जाते मानव सम्राट शिलाओं पर अपना इतिहास बस Yeah. Uh, now let's ask if Makram sir is there. Sir. Oh, sir. Okay, Diti. Diti, could you please come on the video now? Our uh, director sir is here, and he will share a poem of his. uh so come on come on the screen please thank you very much sir once again i apologize for the uh, not seeing and listening to the words we would love to listen to but uh, there are reasons why i had to uh, go upstairs and uh, you know attend to some urgent work and i may have to go into that today so thank you once again diti ji it was an honor to have you join us from tel aviv and uh, we started this uh, kind of extra mural activity on fridays because we wanted to end the week on a nice note uh, by reading poetry by celebrating the sacredness of the word you know uh So I will read uh, a couple of excerpts, short ones from this forthcoming book of mine. Uh, it's called Identity's Last Secret, and uh, I read another portion from that book earlier. Uh, and uh, I want to read an invocation. So this book is a it's a medley of prose, poetry, philosophy, criticism, art. painting and it has three sections so i will read the invocation because uh, i you know i'm deeply interested in the power of uh, the mantra and uh, and uh, shorobindo has written a book called the future poetry in which he argues that uh, the poetry of the future will once again try to be like the mantra because the sacredness of language and the word has to return uh otherwise there would be a huge loss to human civilization so anyhow so uh this book has i can't show you now but it has paintings it has mandalas it has yantras right so this is the invocation i want to read and then i'll read a little excerpt dispeller of the gloom within dispeller of the gloom within bolt of sheer lightning I seek refuge in your radiant being, Aiyim, Aiyim. Beholding such splendor, irresistible adventure, at last I cease to falter. 
Reem, Reem. This alphabet of bliss, beginning of all things, I yearn only for thy kiss. Clean, clean. Usant immense ablaze, despite the darkness and the days. I delight in your secret name, Shreem, Shreem. So, you know, these are the beach mantras. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, I'll just read one little excerpt. Um, so, the context is uh, that, you know, I wish I could show you the painting that is like an epigraph to this section of the book, the first section. Um, and the first section is called Spendthrift Hearts Wasteful Expenditure. The wasteful expenditure phrase comes from Tagore, Vajay Khorch. So he says that what the heart spends from a purely economic point of view is wasteful expenditure. You know? <laughs> because there's no utility. There's no utility in the heart's emotions. It can't be measured like debit and credit and interest. Uh, so this is what happens when, you know, we are, we, in fact, I, do you have your book? I want to read one part of your book, if I can. Do you have it? No, one thing I really liked. It's a very good poem. You know, Diti Ji, she says that after you have a realization, you feel, okay, I have achieved everything. Now I don't have to do anything. But then the whole process begins again. You know, the same hurts, the same pains, the same engagement with everyone. And then she has an answer why that is happening. Why you have to do it. Because you can't withdraw from the world. And whatever realization or higher consciousness you've glimpsed, once again you have to come down, you know, into the veil of sorrow. You know, as Keats says, uh, life is a veil of soul making. So we evolve here because our soul is tested over and over. Yeah. So this, this section is about this kind of wasteful expenditure where you, you know, are not able to understand you know, what is happening in a particular relationship. So anyhow, watching her gliding forth, waving once, sense recede. Soon vanishing sprite like a glowing swirl of gold dust, steadily swallowed by the inky cloak of night. He felt at first a gush of relief, like wind escaping a balloon at bursting point. She was calm, elation almost. He could return to himself, nothing broken, seared, as yet still safe. But immediately, a stab of pain, laid, turning, twisting, this having and losing her, night after night, this returning to an empty bed, ah, such desolation of the spirit, he was taken by a dread he dared not name. It was not merely from missing her keenly, worse, Far grimmer, is afraid, worried, appalled. What if she never came back? Worse, what if she did? Either way, he was a goner. His hull blasted, deck of fire, ship out of kilter. She drove him not to distraction, but destruction. His mind raced. What if she did something strange or crazy? What if there was a scandal? What would happen to the reputation? The gossip would be merciless, sharp as a curved scimitar, slicing right through his status, leaving him in tatters. This anxiety he could name, but his real fright was nameless, a horror beyond surmise or grasp 
phantom, shapeless, and obscure. It left him panic-stricken, misplaced, pitched. He felt lost, turned into something else, a missing person, stranger to himself, creature of nocturnal haunts, werewolf, vampire. And yet, nothing happened. Nothing at all. She resumed every evening, rushing in, their breathless, dusky tryst, dodging time and tide, again and again. Some days so tired was she, that immediately after dinner she curled up asleep in his arms. Waking up after midnight with that other hunger. Fervently, ferociously, at last he heaved, whole being a tremor, shaking with a shock so unbearable, collapsed, wasted, falling into a torpor, immobilized. So he lay impaled, his soul extracted like one of the living dead, pierced, depleted, destroyed, paralyzed. He forgot all about her, all the world, motionless in bed, staring at the ceiling. He heard the air conditioners hum while she quickly dressed, gathered her things. He heard the front door shut, the latch sound at the wicket gate, then fading footsteps. Deathly silence seized his stricken soul as he faded away into the land lifeless. Thank you so much. Thank you, Diteji. Thank no, you for your patience. I did live it. That's why I could write it. But uh, what I wanted to say at the end of this lovely evening, uh, I suppose it's still afternoon in Israel, but we welcome you to the Indian History of Advanced Study. When time's are better, when we have a vaccine for COVID, and when you feel like traveling to India, please do visit. And, uh, you know, we'll arrange a program for you for you here in Shamla. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. That was so vibrating, the poem. It has left the spanda. And uh, thank you, Diti, for staying with us for long. Um, I say I say bye to you right now. And uh, by, <laughs> so now we come to the end of this uh, evening. Uh, thank you to everybody, my dear fellows, and uh, our our very honorable director. It's really moving to hear you read your poems. I wish we hear them more. Thank you very much. And let's, I hope there is tea, so let's be together tea. for the tea. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. Yes. Bye, Riti. Thank you, sir. Thank you.